If you're a Cincinnati local or a veteran of the Little Miami River, or if you read Steve Coomer's book on the Little Miami River, then you may have heard of the white bass run. Every year, white bass, along with some hybrid stripers or wipers, will make the run from the Ohio River up the Little Miami River. Tonight, we're gonna to be targeting those species. The white bass, its Latin name, the Maroon Chrysops, can be found all over this side of America. We find them mostly in this region, in the Ohio River and its tributaries. Now, me personally, I'm going to use Power Pro Braid 15 pound test, and I'm gonna use a six pound fluorocarbon lead. I'm going to stick with what's been hot on the Little Miami right now, and that's the white grub. I'm going to use a Berkeley Power Bait white grub, and I'm going to pair that with a 1 16th ounce ball head jig from Equal Claw. And then I'm just going to use my Shimano Sienna 2500 HG reel on a Shimano Sienna rod, medium powered, fast action. All right, let's get out there. GoPros never correctly show how steep an embankment is. All right, minnows are chasing it. That's a good sign. Good Lord. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making that one. Yeah. Oh yeah. What's your name? William. William? Nice to meet you. William's got a uh, white bass across the river there. Yeah. Was this a little guy? Yeah. Alright, that's all we've been catching so far um, in the last week or so. Alright. And white grubs work also. Heck yeah they do. Especially right now, we're just killing it on the white grub fire. There we go. You want to put it back? You want to take yeah, it? it? You want back. a picture? Sure. Uh, Here, you'll be in our video next week, all right? All Is right. that cool? Yeah. All right, William, it's on with this white bass. Second white bass showing us how it's done over here. Been, been down here lately? It's my first time I've ever been here. That's what I heard. We have a YouTube channel and a subscriber let us know about it. Yeah, there was guys fishing the exact same spot yesterday. They caught about 15 white bass. That's what we're that's what we're going for. They, small? they were uh yeah, they were kind of small, but they were they were catching them right here. Yeah. There's, a, there's like a there's like a pool right here, an old channel or something that they just kind of hang out in. So yeah you guys should be good every april they come up from the ohio and they hang out yeah from here to milford guys down there at the mouth of the duck creek and they were catching small ones too so how'd you guys get down the roots or yeah there's a root over there is there like a root ball or something right there where that tree is yeah it's a it's a vine yeah which i don't put a lot of my faith yeah, into no, but it worked Fish off. All right. Target species. That a boy. You finally got something on that new lure too. Yeah. I was about to switch it too. Neil's throwing this little silver guy. It's almost too pretty to throw. That's a pretty little white bass. Why don't you get back in there and have some fun? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go, William. We're catching them over here. Fish on. Here we go. Uh -huh, even smaller. Staying on though. They're just not in big size tonight, are they? Nice job. Thank you. Baby. Right. All just little guys. I'm a big fan of extreme Philly fishing 
and Leo just came out with his own lures from Eurotackle. And they're basically like micro finesse lures. So I'm going to put good downsize to a small 132nd jig and I'm going to try one of Leo's fish. I'm going to match the hatch. I'm going to go white and let's see what we can get. William's on. There we go. Mom. He's on. That's good. He's showing us what to do. Yay. Someone has to. Killing it. So little. They have great action. About a little bit bigger. Get off work today. He's got a slab. Oh, that's a largey or a spotted? Nice. What'd you get? You can see the tongue? Nice. Yeah, there's Wait, does that have a little patch on it? Yeah, it's a spot. It's really fat. That's awesome. Yeah. Was it there right there by those trees? I think that might have been the guy that just swiped at me. Wow. Little spotted nail. First catch with Extreme Phillies um, lure from Eurotackle is uh, we got spotted here tonight. We got a large mouth and several white bass. It's a productive little night here on the LMR. Yeah, I probably wouldn't go that way. That looks crazy. Yeah. Are you all right? You gonna fall in? You know how many views I get if he did that though? <laughs> how much stuff you got in there? I have a bunch of catfish weights. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Like a square bill. Maybe target something a little bigger. Maybe I'll do that Guggen uh, recon. I'm going to switch mine too. Remember how much I cut out of the little Miami with this little Guggen recon just bouncing off the bottom? It's hard truth. Are those mystery tackle boxes? Yeah, they come, yeah, they come in everything. That's actually where I got this thing. Everything. Yeah, that's yeah, that's where I got mine. That's why I knew what it was. Normally don't buy Guggen stuff very often. Yeah. There you go, little, <laughs> little white bass? Yeah. Yeah, if it if yeah, the water's there, up, none, none of the big ones want to play right now. That seems to be the case. Until I put this on when we go down there. How big was that smally? I'd say the thing was what? At least solid 14 to 15 inches, bro. Nice. Up in Marymount. Up in Marymount, we were back in the f out of white bass, but they were all small and they were good. I had to go get some weird. That's nothing but island right My favorite weird. Yeah, when, you, when, when this is at normal, it's all for the most part dry. All grass. I mean, there'll be little little pools of water, but you just walk out here with, and it's actually tall grass yet in the summer. Fish on. Real tall grass. Yeah, this guy's just everywhere. Just not the definitely eating pasture. You hungry there, buddy? You hungry? See them chatterbaits for later. I'm gonna throw that as we float on down through there. I caught them all. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Good to see you guys. Let's go fishing sometime. All right. Hell yeah. There you go, oh. Neil. Ooh. I had a nice one, Paul. You think it had a smolly? I don't know what it was. Did it run hard? Yeah, it did. Might have been a hybrid. Stay on, baby. Oh. Oh, what the heck? 
foul hook it. First carp of 2021. God, really? Shit, hold, hold my, hold my reel. Now hooked it. It was like on the drop. That's a, oh, I did. That's a small mouth, it. small mouth buffalo. Wow, that's your biggest buffalo, right? That's Is bigger it? than last um, fall, right? I, I have to look. That's awesome, man. Good job. Oh man, he jumped. Ugh. I'm gonna have to He's check it out. Got a scar on the side too. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Hey, that was nice though. It, it jumped. <laughs> it it jumped not, out of the water like I a bass. It was a big bass. Uh, what about the uh, going up like I right? feel like it's got good enough grip. Because you got this branch here. <laughs> Yep. God. Stupid day to put six pound test on. I feel like we're getting flights I see one on top of a pylon. There's a big bass on top of a pylon. Fish on. I feel bad doing this. Well, this should be all right. What we got here, Neil Bow? Uh, got a 20 foot bass. Oh, uh, action out there, too. I mean, I caught it from 20 foot up. Did that slide all the way down? Hey, are you able to toss it back in the creek easily? What creek? The, the one we came out of. Oh, there. Fish on. Did you see that, Neil? Oh, it's like three and a half pounds. It was like three and a half pounds. Yes. All right, tonight's target was white bass, Little Miami River, and we did catch some. Some others caught more than me. It wasn't my best day today. Um, Neil, I, you had a pretty decent afternoon, I thought. Yeah, I'm happy. Got um, a lot of you little, stuck a little striped bass. Your white grub fire did well in that little silver underspin thing you had. I like that smallmouth buffalo, did a nice jump. That'll wrap it up this week. We caught our target species. Nothing too big, but uh, it was a lot of fun out there and uh, the weather is awesome these days. Water temperatures are rising. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Good River. Link in the description down below. Awesome apparel, awesome uh, designs and all that, Ohio and fishing related. Next, I'm just gonna have to think about what we're gonna get into next week. Have a good one. <laughs>